Here with head coach Kyle Rucklitz after a huge 64-55 win at Marquette. Uh, first win over the Golden Eagles since 2008 and first 3-0 start since 1988. Coach, huge statement win. What does this mean for the program? You know, it just shows that our culture um, has really just every year taken big steps. Um, this team believes so much uh, in what we're doing at Milwaukee and what we're trying to accomplish. Um, and they really are fully bought in to just being resilient and fighting for every single possession. I mean, they're playing with so much heart. Um, it is it is so fun to coach this team. I can't. I just can't tell you how much pride and excitement I have every single time I get to walk into practice or walk into a game with them. Awesome. And uh, offensively, you got off to a really, really nice start. Um, you were rolling in the first half there and just kind of pouring it on, doubled them up in the first half. Um, and then they kind of closed the gap a little bit. But um, what really showed was the uh, fourth quarter composure. I mean, you came down and hit 12 of 12 free throws. Um, they kept trying to come back and follow. But you guys had, I mean, showed, like I said, showed all the composure in the world, going 12 for 12 from the line. There's 14 for 15 from the free throw line. Um, in the second half and in the last three games it's really been about that fourth quarter and closing it out yeah absolutely you know I, I loved our strong start and i think a lot of that came down to michaela schmelzer um she kind of put our team on her back uh hit some really big threes at the start uh, we kept talking to her about how great of a three-point shooter she is and if she can continue to do that at the beginning of games it's going to open up driving lanes for her later on or passing opportunities um, so that was really nice to see. Uh, about midway through the third and fourth quarter, I felt like we were trying to play not to lose. Uh, and I kept saying to our team, like, play to win. Stop trying to hold the lead. Um, do what got us here. Use that toughness, that mentality. Find ways to get stops. Um, and, and I give a lot of credit to Marquette because down the stretch, I mean, they were kicking us on the boards um, and, and we had to find, like, we were trying to sub different people in and talking to them just about getting a rebound because we were getting the initial stop. We just weren't getting that secondary stop. Absolutely. I'm um, going back to uh, Schmelz here then. So, I mean, I, I, like you said, I think she really did shoulder the load tonight, um, especially her and Megan Wallstad um, with Brandy Bisping, who's been a stud the first two games in a little bit of a foul trouble. Um, but those two really, um, I, I, I think, played out of their minds tonight and and, uh, and led, um, led to uh, just the experience. Talk about the experience and what they bring to the team. Yeah, absolutely. You know, I, I think, uh, you know, it's awesome how great our freshman class is. Like, I just, I really can't wait for people to see how amazing they are, too. Um, but we've got these seniors and these, you know, experienced sophomores and Amo, uh, Alyssa Moore, who's a junior. Um, we just have so much experience. People have played a lot of minutes um, that they get to learn from them right now. Um, and they get to learn from their leadership. I mean, Megan was everywhere tonight. I mean, it doesn't even, the stat sheet doesn't even show what she did in her 38 minutes of play. Um, I felt like anytime somebody was driving, she was there walling them up. Anytime she was guarding the post, she was there. I mean, she she battled for the entire game uh, and we couldn't get her much subs because of, of Brandy. Um, and, you know, obviously, you know, now Brandy's rested. So we're excited to use her on Sunday because, uh, you know, obviously she's a she's a major factor for us as well. But I just I really feel like our upperclassmen are just playing with so much confidence right now. Um, and it's really great for that for our younger players to be able to learn um, through that. And one more of those upperclassmen, uh, first game tonight, Sid Staver really made an impact um, in her first game back. Uh, I mean, she had 12 points, 5 for 10 shooting. Um, a lot of that coming in the second half there. So what? Um, now that she's she's back and, and she's healthy and she's, and she's playing well, what does she bring back to the table? You know, it's just awesome having her on the court. She's so composed. You know, she plays with this level of composure. Um, you know, shot clock is running, running down. We don't mind having the ball in her hands because she's going to find a way to get a shot. Um, she's just a natural scorer for us. Um, so it was great to see her go five for 10 um, and kind of get her legs back under her. Um, excited to see what she can continue to do as she builds that conditioning back up. All right, well, once again, congratulations, Coach. That's a huge win. Um, and we will look forward to uh, seeing you on Sunday. Thank you.